Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking the body beat down here. Michael, at your most humble service on this Friday afternoon. It is a little bit late. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. Fridays, uh, I usually get started a little bit later because I have to take all my stuff into the office, my paperwork. i got to fill up the bus and all that kind of good stuff. So I get home a little later. Plus, i got to make my pre-workout, get it ate, and let it sit for a little. So... You're going to see something set up here that's a little different today. And I mentioned it on a, a walk, my walk and talk video this morning. But I'm going to do something a little different today. We're going to do a little bit of elevated deadlifts. Why? I don't know. Something different. Uh, I have the old tape measure here. Let's measure about how far the bar is from the ground. Ugh. About 18 and a quarter inches from the ground. Now that's kind of high, uh, but it is what it is. That's how I'm going to do it. I have set the bar here one, once or twice uh, before whenever I've done these. And uh, it does okay, but it's still pretty far down there. I'm just kind of wanting to build up to a certain weight and see if I can pull it from this point and uh, see how it goes. Why not? So, uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you can hear me. I got the door open, of course, and the air unit is going, uh, and it's in the hall, a split unit. So, I uh, hope you can hear me. So, we're going to start out with 135 in hopes that I don't bang against any of these other things here. So, anyway, deadlift day. We're doing something a tad bit different. Let's kick off the old shoes. see a little bit of booty booty instead of normally how we're shooting. That's the way it goes. Warming up, 135. <laughs> So there we go. Now that does feel a little bit awkward when you're used to doing deadlifts from the floor. Uh, you would think that it would be easier starting up a little higher, but I almost think it's a tad easier starting normal. And that's something I noticed the last time I that I tried, you know, a version of these. It's almost like, you know, you're kind of mid-stride. Uh, and I know there's reasons for it to kind of help in certain areas of your pool. But at the same time, it does kind of throw you off whenever you're used to doing it a certain way. Another thing that's throwing me off a tad bit, using the J-hooks, because they are kind of small. you got to make sure you're on point. Versus using, you know, your spotter arms. Not spider arms, spotter arms, safeties. But mine are really bad, they're broke, screwed up. So, uh, those are good if you got them. And I have the material to go and get some made, some really good ones. I just, I haven't spent the money to do it yet. So, so I'm gonna have to watch how I'm setting the bar down. But we're gonna go ahead and add some weight on. I'm kinda interested to get up there quick and see what I can do and see how this goes. 
So let's keep going, guys. Stick with me. Okay, so we're up to 225. We're just going to get probably about maybe five reps here. Okay, we're at 405, and remember the bar, the bottom of the bar to the floor is about 18 and a quarter inches, I think I said, something, something along those lines. 405. I got a 25 and a 2.5 on the ends. 445s, the bar is 45. Let's see if we can pull 460 from here. from there. Not bad. Okay, I'm going to go up to 470 and see how that goes. I got a 5 on the very end. I got a 2.5 in the middle there. In the middle. 25, Just for proof, got the five, the 2.5 in the middle there. 25, 445s. All right, I went up five more pounds, I believe. Maybe 10, 10 more pounds. We're at 480. I went ahead and put the 2.5s on the outside so people will see them. So we got 2.5, two fives, uh, 25, 445s, and a 45 pound bar. And the bar is whatever I said from the floor. I think I said 18 and a quarter, maybe. Something like that. Thank <laughs> you. 
we went back down to 455 pounds. We got a 25 on the end, 445s, and the bar is 45. Again, this is my actual real deadlift, one rep max. So, you know, still working with it up here. And uh, this is an interesting kind of way to do things. So, and I remeasured the bar from the floor. It's more like 18 and a half inches uh, from the bottom of the bar to the floor. and the bar is 45. down to 315, 345s, and the bar is 45. finish off where we started back down to 135 let's get a few reps of these and we'll be done guys guys and just like that we are done with our different uh, deadlift day that's what I'm doing and I'm sticking to it so I got a couple of notes wrote down here about what I just experienced and uh, number one uh, this proves my grip strength can handle it that I do have grip for it uh, you know you kind of wonder sometimes if it's your grip given out or or something and, and though I know I'm not pulling all the way from the floor up uh, it's still you know still a little distance there to pull so uh, I feel good that I have 
the strength of my hands to go up heavier if everything else allows me to. Uh, and number two, it just proves that I overall have the strength to do more weight. Again, I realize that I have 18 and a half inches of, you know, height from the bar to the floor there. It gave me a little bit of help. But still, you have to have strength and you have to have grip strength to be able to do something like that. So that's what that shows me. Uh, now, those of you that know, uh, that keep up with me, you know, I'm kind of stuck at 455 for my regular deadlifts. And I've hit that 455 three separate times. And it's hit and miss. You know, when, when you're maxing out, you don't know if you're going to ever do it again. You know, you might just do it one time and that's it. So I've done it, th I've done it three separate times. And my goal is to get to 460. And uh, I hope I'm saying all these numbers right. Uh, my brain likes to trip out sometimes. 455 I've done. I'm trying to get to 460. And I failed and failed and failed and failed. A lot of times, and I kind of gave up, and, 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 I'm, and I'm not necessarily pursuing it, but I'm also not one to just totally give up and be okay with uh, failing something in the gym because I feel like I'm strong. I feel like I'm a big dude, and I should be able to move some weight. But I also know that a lot of this is mental. So mentally, uh, deadlifts has kind of got a hold on me where my bench press is taking off a little bit. I'm doing a lot better with my bench. And uh, my deadlifts have kind of, they've been holding me back for quite some time. The deadlifts are a big mental game and it's all in execution and timing and mood. Everything has to be just right. Uh, I found that deadlifts are the more finicky of all my lifts that I do. I think it's the more finicky. It's the one where the stars have to be aligned. So, do I think that I could pull 460 pounds? Yes, and I've been saying that for a long time. I feel like I got it, but it's just the stars, you know? <laughs> Everything has to be right, but I just proved today that I can at least move some weight. So, that was pretty, uh, that was interesting to do, and uh, something I probably should have been training and doing more often, and I meant to forever ago. Uh, I meant to implement that kind of training into my training, you know, and into my deadlifts. For some reason, I just didn't. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed kind of uh, something different on my deadlift day and my rambling on. I can't help it. I ain't got nobody else to talk to. I've been married 30 years. My wife won't talk to me. So, anyway, I'm going to... Finish up here. I'm ready to eat. I got me a nice little rotisserie chicken. I'm going to scarf down and uh, start my weekend. I'm getting two days off, and uh, it feels good to get my workout done Monday through Friday. Of course, I still do my cardio, my walking, and my spinning seven days a week. So uh, I still have to get those two things done even on the weekend. Well, guys, I hope I give you a little inspiration to do something today, healthy inside and out. If I did, possibly maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael. Michael. Michael up over here. Anyway. Get up. Get out, you Brad. Do it We'll see you next time. On the body beat down. Be awesome. Be something. I don't know. Be a unicorn. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!